younger, their iPhone are up by touch. Um, I'm using iPhone 3GS, so I'm not sure if it works on the other models, but I'm sure it does. So what you're gonna need is iPhone or iPod Touch, the U, um, USB cord, because you're gonna need to connect it to the computer, uh, Black Rain, which you can Google Black Rain, the I for, uh, and Rain has, is actually a one, so just search out on Google, you'll look it up and you'll find it. Um, official firmware, 3.12, I'll include a link in the description, and any version of iTunes, I'm using 9.2. Um, first off, you'll need to find your baseband, which to find that, go to settings, then general, and then about, and then just scroll down, you'll see modem firmware, and there should be three different numbers, you'll see. Um, I have the latest baseband, I believe, and it still works, you could uh, unlock your phone, jailbreak it, whatever, with uh, black rain. Now just go back, um, what do you call it, warning, as long as you follow every step, as I say, and I, you know, write down, as I'm going to write down a written tutorial as well, you won't have any problems, and it should work, but some people have said that it doesn't work, but it worked for me, so I figured make a video, but if you mess up your iPhone or anything in any way, I'm not held responsible for it, because you're taking these next steps at your own risk, but if you do have any problems, I will try to assist you in any way I can. Alright, now we're going to get to it. So first off, make sure you download the official firmware, and you'll see I have it on my desktop, right there. 3.12, make sure it's not customized or anything, because then I'm not sure what will happen, so just make sure it's official. I believe I got mine off of Redmond Pi website, I'll look it up right now. Yep, got it off of here. So I'll get the link in the description, but you can get it off Redmond Pi. Just search um, Redmond Pi and then 3.12 firmware. And as you can see, we'll give you download links for all the different models that are you know um, able to use it for. Uh, once you download that, then just download BlackRain, which I'm going to show you. Go to Google. Then type in black rain with a one for rain, and you'll see. Don't go to org, that's not the site, I'm not sure what that is. Go to the one.com, and you'll have either a PC, which I have, or Mac. All right, now just I'm gonna X that out, so make sure you download both those things. All right, um, also make sure when you download black rain that you put it into your for Windows, I'm not sure about Mac, but for Windows, um, you go to your your C part or local disk then you go to program files then you go to common files and then Apple and then Apple application support and then just pop it in there because it has all the DLLs or whatever they are which uh, make it run and otherwise you'll get errors and you'll have to find uh, all the DLLs which this makes your life a ton easier so make sure you do that and let me just open this back up. Alright, now what you're going to do is pop, uh, you're going to put your iPhone or iPod Touch into DFU mode. So you're going to hold down, well you're going to actually turn off your iPhone first. You're going to slide it off and it's going to show you like a little circle thing I think. And your screen will be somewhat grayish, but once it turns completely off, and it, your screen goes completely black, make sure that you start holding that power and home for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then let go of power, and just keep holding that home until you hear a ding in the iTunes, which then a message will pop up saying that... It's in recovery mode, but it's actually in DFU mode. And there shouldn't be an Apple logo on your iPhone. There should just be a black screen. Make it like a. Just click OK. 
All right, I gotta turn this thing back on so I can show you what I'm doing. All right, anyway, um, now what you do is go to Restore, which is click on this, and then you just go to Restore. All right, hold Shift and click on Restore. Now, go to wherever you put your 3.12 file and just find it and click on it. And now, hit Restore. Now it's going to be extracting and it's going to say preparing your iPhone and then I'll tell you what to do. And now it's verifying. Now it's preparing, and it's not gonna ever finish. So what you have to do is to get past this uh, loading preparing screen, you have to hold down home and power right now, and you'll get a white screen. Now hold it down again, and you should get a black screen with the Apple logo on it. And then in a couple, a minute or so, you'll get a progress bar. And then it'll do its restore thing, and then I'll tell you what to do. Now you should get an error. This is expected. It'll say 1015. If you get a 3000 error, then I'm not really sure what to tell you. Besides, try it again. Make sure you follow the steps down to the T. Now on your screen, it's going to be it's going to show an iTunes logo and a USB cord with an arrow pointing up, uh, which looks pretty much like the recovery screen is pretty much a recovery screen. All right, now click OK. <clears throat> Wait for it to disappear. <clears throat> now you're gonna see a carbon mode. All right, click OK. Now what you're gonna do is minimize this. Actually, turn off iTunes. Turn off iTunes. Um, go to the Apple sub application support I told you about before. That uh, I'll tell you again just in case. See uh, local disk C or whatever. You have your program files folder in. Comma files. Apple. Apple application support. Now click on black green. <clears throat> oh, okay. Now run it. Uh, you can X that out. It's not a big deal. Now just drag it over. All right. Um, just click it once your iPod's ready to go. And then on your iPod, it'll show a picture of a guy, which is the person who made the software, GeoHot, and a couple iPhones or whatever. It's pictures. Alright, now click OK, hit X this out, and just wait for it to go through its jailbreaking process. It's fairly quick. I would donate to him if I had money, but I don't, so. Um, Alright, now it should be an Apple logo after it's done jailbreaking, and it's going to be booting up. now it's just booting up and instead of having the emergency call screen which is what you, uh, you have when you have to activate it it's just gonna say you know slide to unlock and you're good to go edit home screen that whole message always pops up when you do a fresh restore and general like I said before if you have any questions or anything just uh, don't hesitate to let me know because I will try to help you out and 
Thanks for watching. Hope it helps.